all right what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're gonna replace the injectors on my e90 320d and hopefully it works so i'm just gonna put you guys through the video and let's see what happens so i'm already like halfway into it and all we have to do basically is just to remove the injector plugs which i'm going to do now to get this power brick out of the way it's this entire power system all this cabling out of the way one side remove the intake and to remove the actual injectors itself um so yeah i'll just get you guys up to speed i'm just gonna go over whatever i can it's not gonna be a full in-depth uh, tutorial how to do this but this is just an overview as to what's going on Okay, now from where we last left off, I removed all of the intake bolts except for the number 11 mils, which is down here is one, two, three, four, five on the intake itself. Before you actually take a look at it, you need an 11 mil socket as we expect, and you need a magnetic bolt grabber. That way you do not drop those nuts. And it is quite annoying if you do drop it. So just be careful with those and from there that just to remove the intake and then we can get access to the injectors which is like one, two, three, four right here and you have the return hose which is here. I'll show you how to remove all that in a few moments. Okay, now that I got the intake out, at this point, if you ever need to change your glow plugs, you've got your points right here. There's one, two, three, and four. So you don't have to worry about that. That's how you take it off. For now, just the main part is the injectors, but you're gonna undo the fuel rails, just the points here, and get a either an injector puller, or if you're gonna do it the old-fashioned way, a screwdriver and lift everything up. To remove the injectors, we have two eight millimeter nuts on these locking brackets as well as you have these clips that hold the return hose once you get these off and once you get the fuel rail off you'll be able to lift off and get this injector out remember each injector is numbered and they are coded so if you are replacing them you have to recode them which i'm going to show you guys a little secret afterwards Using a 17 millimeter spanner, wrench, whatever the hell you want to call it, undo the fuel leg and just release. Now this could be under pressure if you have fuel in your system, but most cases it will be fine. You do it up on both sides for the injector and the injector rail. you can get the whole piping out of the way and you can set it aside yeah. 
once that's done, the old fashioned way, flush driver and the injectors out. And with a little extra persuasion of getting this one out, you can see the condition of the actual injector itself. It is absolutely covered in carbon. I have absolutely no idea how the hell this happened. But time to replace it. So right now I have it was one, two, three, and four. So I know which order it is. I'm going to use these washers again to get the proper seal. But you can, as you can see, these things are finished. It is absolutely covered in carbon. Which, is, which will be the result in why I have less fuel pressure. I just want to have a look inside. You can see it is absolutely caked in carbon. Alright, let's get to replacing it. Okay, so I have my new set and I use the term new and very loose inverted comma. This is from a second hand vehicle, it's actually from a car that's been junked. So I got these injectors, they apparently are working, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip them around in the actual engine bay, so instead of being down here, it's going to be facing up like this, like that, so that one week, so we can test the spray. Then we know it's all spraying evenly, we're going to, we're going to put it into the car. And now with the injectors mounted in inverse, so we can see everything is hooked up upside down, so it'll fire up in the air. I have the car plugged in, I have the ignition on and I'm using our personal diagnostic tool. So I'm going to go into the system, let it go through the entire module and we're going to code the injectors. Okay, now that I have the new values entered into the, uh, the tool, I'm going to save it and we're going to try and start the car. So you see it corresponds with everything on the injectors itself. So let's go ahead and try this now. So today has just been bound with failures. Basically the injectors that I've put in didn't make any difference whatsoever. And I'm putting my old ones back. Basically everything is just plumbed in already. It's connected. I'm just going to put the intake back in. And we have to fur further dive into why it is losing fuel pressure or losing power on the top end. I think it's basically the timing. I think it's a bit off somewhere along the line. So I'm going to have to hire a tool or get the tool somewhat and do the timing one of the days when I can. I'm gonna bring you guys along for the journey so you can see for yourself. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna close everything up over here and we have the car back up and running the way we used to have it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. And just like that, and just like that, after putting all the covers and everything back on, you can see everything is sort of where it's supposed to be. So, did it work? No. Well, that was a complete fail. So, as you guys see, it's still doing the same thing. It's still not running right. So I'm gonna dive in deeper and see what actually could be the problem. Like I said, it could be the timing. So yeah, if you wanna see all of that, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn on the bell notification, leave your comments down below, like the video, all that stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully we do have some success. So yeah, peace.